Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I want to continue taking a look at the Elgato Stream Deck and how it can be incorporated with your TriCaster Productions. And today, I will show you how to assign New Tech NDI PTZ preset shots onto the Elgato Stream Deck. Now with New Tech's NDI cameras, you are able to set up a shot, take a snapshot of that shot, then recall that shot easily using presets. And the Stream Deck makes it super easy to recall those shots, so let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so here I am on my desktop, which is running my Stream Deck software over here. Uh, I also have my NDI Studio Monitor currently plugged into the, uh, connected to my NDI PTZ3 camera, which is pointed at this new tech banner over in my studio. Uh, and then I also have NDI Studio Monitor open over here uh, with uh, my TriCaster 2 Elite so I can control it and get back and forth between these things easy. And then of course I have my Stream Deck hardware over here on my desk. So what I'm gonna do today is combine all these bad boys together. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's go over to the TriCaster side and do a quick review of the uh, preset shots that you can do with the uh, your PTZ cameras. So you'll see I have my uh, PTZ3 camera over in input number one. And what I wanna do is get quick access to uh, my uh, uh, preset shots. So the way to do that would be to go to another input. You'll have to sacrifice an input here. Sorry, input number two. You are now input number one. And then uh, right click in here and then select source presets. And when I do that, you'll see that I have 16 different presets that are currently empty and we're going to fill a couple of those up. And we can do that by clicking on the gear icon on my input number one. Let's bring this over. In fact, let's put this on program. There we go. So we can see it. All right, and I'll move this over here, and then you'll see on the PTZ tab, those same 16 different uh, presets are available, okay? So uh, I'm gonna take a snapshot of our establishing shot here into number one, simply click that, and when I click it here, you'll see that that updates over here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and zoom in. I wanna zoom into the little energy burst at the bottom of that banner. Like that, okay, and then Put that number two, and now let's pan our camera up and get that new tech logo a little more centered than that. Ah, that's looking all right. Okay, and then I'll update that into three. Cool. So now I have these three here. And if I close this window, I can quickly access those via the presets over here on the right, etc. So just kind of cycling between those. All right. But let's say that we want to uh, kind of opt, you know, um, delegate this to another piece of hardware because we have this one input here that we had to sacrifice but if we want to do that we could say do a couple other ways to do it but here's another fun way to do it which is using the stream deck okay so now what we need to do is tell my stream deck software here uh what which camera i'm going to be controlling okay so uh let's first let's go over to my Stream Deck software, and we'll grab the PTZ preset recall button, and we'll throw that right there. All right, and then you'll see that it needs a few pieces of information like the camera's IP address. So we'll go back into my TriCaster and click on the gear icon for my camera, go to input, and then go to device web page. And it's going to ask me to log into that system and the username and password by default are admin admin. Let's go ahead and log into that. And even before I logged in, you see you saw at the top here on the browser that I have an IP address. So this is the IP address we're going to need to put into the Stream Deck software in order for it to know which camera we are controlling. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy that. I'll close that. And now under that PTZ uh, preset recall, we'll grab that IP address and throw it in there, so I just pasted it. And all we need is a number, so if you copy everything, you might have the HTTP and all the backslashes, etc. All you need is a number in there. And then uh, from here, you'll select the model of PTZ camera that you're using. In my example, I'm using a PTZ3 camera, so I'll leave that there. And for the preset, if I click that, you'll see that those are the 16 different 
ways that we can, uh, uh, 16 different bays that we can store these preset shots in. So let's just keep that on number one. And then we'll put the password in there, admin. And for the title, you can put whatever you want there. Uh, I'm going to just put number one like that. So when I enter it in on the software, it also appears over here on the Stream Deck hardware itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and so we're pretty much connected right now. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to make uh, presets for all of these. So I'll go here and we'll say number two. Put in that pat the IP address. Make sure that it's controlling preset number two. Put in the password for that. All right, and then I'll grab another one of these. I know I'm kind of putting in here backwards, but this is just for example. The IP address, the preset we want that button to control is number three. We've already put three up there, the title, and admin. Okay, cool. So now I, I basically have control over those different presets that I put onto the TriCaster. I assigned them there, but now I can control them with my Stream Deck. And when I do that, take a look. I'll go ahead and click number two, and my camera pans into that energy ball like I wanted it to. Click on number three, goes to the new tech logo. Click on number one, it goes back to my establishing shot. And what's cool too as well is if you do any, if you rewrite, I mean like overwrite the different um, uh, presets you have, like for example on this current shot, uh, I can make that a little nicer. Let's go into the PTZ side and let's zoom out a little bit more. Move it back. All right, that's a little bit better. Cool. We'll save that to preset number one. And I don't have to do, because sometimes in the middle of your show, you might have to readjust a camera, et cetera. But you don't want to have to go through and, um, you know, uh, reprogram your stream deck for that. But you can just take a new snapshot and then click on your preset for that. And whoop, it'll go back to it. Just, well, well first I need to click, <laughs> click on another one. All right, so go to that. And then if I click on one again, there we go, it goes back to my new preset that I put in there. So another way for you to be able to control your NDI PTZ cameras via the Stream Deck, I highly recommend checking this out, play around with it, and of course, you know me, have some fun. There you go, another cool way to use the Elgato Stream Deck with your PTZ cameras. Now you can find more tutorial videos like this one on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash newtechinc, so make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also find formalized New Tech product training at New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech u. And to find out more information about New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're sharing your work on social media using New Tech equipment, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.